Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this one day Bharat Express. So let's continue it. So very first of all, we'll be modeling few of the details over here for this. So let's create the door details over here. For that, what I'll be doing over here is like, let's take a rectangle. So let's create a rectangle over here. I'll go into this, I'll off this enable in viewport, I'll convert to editable spline, select the vertices and I'll go into this, I'll give a bit of fillet. So once you're done, so I'll again go into this, enable in viewport and I'll make it as rectangular. I'll slightly just push this out I'll reduce this and reduce this so convert to edit table poly so select the polygons so now what I'll be doing select this all right from the top and let's extrude this up scale this make it more straight so select this extrude this make it more straight select this polygons scale it make it more straight and the same way I'll just select this bottom polygons extrude this I'll make it straight drag it down so now I'll just push this till here in the place of this door select the vertices push this down so once you are done, now I can create a window over here. So slightly just push this over here. So convert to editable poly, select this, insert this, click OK, again just slightly duplicate it, I will just push it out, alright, now this is totally OK. So you can just save your file. After that, I'll again go over here. I uh, will create a small handle. So for that, again I'll go into the spline. I'll take a rectangle. Enable in viewport. Convert to spline. Select the vertices. So I'll give a bit of 
fillet to it. So let's give a bit of extrude over here. slightly I'll just place it in this way. Let's again take a box so convert to editable poly so let's put one swift loop select this polygons let's give a bit of extrude over here so I'll just scale this up So select this edges, let's give chamfer, alright, so now if you look at it, I'll again go over here, I'll put one loop over here and I can slightly select this this edge. So let's select this edge over here. Slightly you can shuffle it a bit inside for the details. So let's take some more references. You can check out some of the references over here. Whatever reference is clear will just create that. So let's again go over here. Let's take a box. So just create a box on top of it. Push it up. Shuffle it back. So convert to editable poly, so select this edges, let's give two connects, select the vertices, slightly push this up. So now if required I can slightly just shuffle this, this side and this side. So let's put some swift loops. So select this polygons and let's give a bit of extrude over here. I'll slightly reduce this and let's give inset by polygon and extrude it in negative axis. Let's click OK. So that can be done. So first let's give inset and 
give x root in negative axis. So after that, again, I'll just select this. I'll put one swift loop over here. So select the vertices, scale it, make it a bit straighter. And for this, select this for the window part. So I'll just insert it. I'll click OK. So I'll just check out some more references for the door section. Alright, this is the door section. So again I will take one swift loop over here and here. I will select the vertices. I will make it straight. Let us slightly push it behind. Now select the polygons. So let's select this right from here. Okay, not a problem. Let's give a bit of inset and slightly extrude it out in this way so you can definitely make this a bit straighter can be done so I'll again select this all and I'll mirror it, copy it in y axis, I'll just drag it in the way. Alright, so guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll be continuing the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.